Hello, good morning. Welcome to Accountancy, Business, and Management. I am Mrs. Jacqueline G. Melendez, your subject teacher in Business Mathematics. Previously, you have learned about conversion involving fractions, decimal, and percent. Let us continue our discussion about these three key terms in business math by knowing and understanding their connection in our daily lives. This lesson is designed for learners to connect fractions, decimals, and percentages in real-life situations. It specifically aims the learners to give real-life situation to illustrate fractions, decimals, and percent, and solve problems involving fraction, decimal, and percent. Let us recall the conversion of fraction into decimal and percent form by completing the table by the correct equivalent of each number. And here are the equivalent forms of each number. You may check your answers. Percentage problems are often related to interest, discounts, commissions, and taxes. Problems of this kind usually involve three variables, the rate, the base, and the percentage. In general, the relationship between those variables is determined by the following formula. Percentage equals base multiplied by the rate, wherein base is the original number, rate is the number of parts taken, and percentage is the resulting portion of the base after the rate has been applied. Let's have an example. Suppose Pong's grandma gave him 50 pesos and Pong spent 30 pesos of that amount. Based on the given facts, we can say that Pong spent 30 out of 50 of the money that his grandmother gave him. The fraction 30 over 50 is also equal to 3 over 5 or 60 percent. So now we can make the following statement. 60 percent of 50 pesos is 30 pesos. The base is the 50 pesos which is the amount that Pong received. The rate is 60 percent which is the percent of the base that he spent and the percentage is 30 pesos which is the resulting amount when you apply the rate on the base. We try to solve some problems in finding the percentage. In this problem, we use the formula. Percentage equals rate multiplied by the base. The statements are regularly used to state these problems. Are find the 50% of 80. What is the 50% of 80? 50% of 80 is what number? We have the first example. Find 33% of 60. Given the base is 60, the rate is 33%. Using the formula, percentage equals rate multiplied by the base. 33% in decimal form is point 33 multiplied by 60 is 19.8. Therefore, 19.8 is the 33% of 60. 
Example number two, computing share of profit. We have this problem. Pong has a 40% share in his partner, has a 60% share in the profits of his business. If their business earns a profit of 250 pesos or 250,000, how much will Pong get? We have the solution. Pong will get 40% of 250,000 that is multiplying 0.40 by 250,000 is 100,000. Therefore, 100,000 is the share of Pong. Another example in computing tax. Suppose a tax rate of 12% was applied to the item you bought. How much tax did you have if you paid a total price of 19500 for the item? The tax amount of 12% of 19500 that is, using the formula, we multiply 12% by 19500 is 2340 Problems finding the rate. In this problem, we use the formula. Rate equals percentage divided by the base. The statements regularly used to state these problems are, what percent of 400 is 60? 60 is what percent of 400? Example number four, what percent of five is two? The following given, our base is 5, percentage is 2. Using the formula, rate equals percentage divided by the base, percentage which is 2, divide, dividing it by the base which is 5, is equal to 0 0.4. 0 0.4 in percent form is 40%. Problem computing percent of sales. Bong made a profit of 250,000 when he sold a lot for a total of 2 million. What percentage of the total amount was his profit? The percentage may be restated as follows. What percent of 2 million is 250,000? Applying the formula, Dividing 250,000, which is the percentage, by the base is 2 million is equal to 0 0.125. 0 0.125 in percent form is 12.5%. Problem computing percent of damage. In a shipment of 250 pots, 65 were damaged in transit. What percent of the total pots have been damaged? The total number of pots is 250, which is base. The 65 broken pots are the percentage. Applying the formula, rate equals percentage divided by the base. 65 divided by 250 equals 0 0.26. 0 0.26 in percent form is 26%. In this problem, we use the formula base equals percentage divided by rate. Statements are 34 is 12% of what number? 12% of what number is 34? We have this example. 6 is 20% of what number? We have the following given. 6 is the percentage. 20% is the rate. And we have the solution. Apply the formula. Base equals percentage divided by the rate. 6 divided by 20%. 20% in decimal form is 0 0.20 equals to 30.
determining the total sales. On Christmas Eve, the sales of your store amounted to 170,000. This, this is 65% of the total sales for the month. How much is the total sale of your store for that month? The problem may be reassessed as follows. 170,000 is 65% of what? This means we're going to need to find the base. Thus, applying the formula base equals percentage divided by the rate, 170,000 divided by 65%, 65% in decimal form is 0 0.65 is equal to 261,538.46. To summarize the lesson, the basic formula for showing the relationship between the base, the rate, and the percentage is percentage equals base multiplied by the rate. To find the base, we divide the percentage by the rate. To find the rate, we divide the percentage by the base. Now, it's your time to give real-life situations to illustrate fractions, decimals, and percent. What you need to do? Give an open-ended story through a comic strip with at least 10 frames. Choose one topic among, among the listed below. Relate the story of A, a Sari Sari store owner, on how he or she relate fractions, decimal, and percent in his or her business. B, a businessman, on how or she uses fractions, decimal, and percent in his or her business presentations. C, a teacher and his or her strategies of teaching fractions, decimal, and percent to his or her learners. A politician, on how or she uses data presented in fractions, decimal and percent, in his, her, or his policy making. And last, letter E, a senior high school student and on how he or she appreciates the concepts of fractions, decimal and percent in understanding lessons in business math. And lastly, put your comic strip in an 8.5 by 13 cotton band with one inch margin in all sides. Read and understand the following criteria to assess your output. Story content, characters, creativity, spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Handang isip, handa bukas. Tara na, ML na tayo.